Sports Live in the ATL here. Win or go home, or in this case, it'll be win or stay home. Still don't know the status of Trey Young. Apparently Giannis will be out uh, tonight. They're hopeful to get him back game seven, if there is a game seven. So many things are running through my mind right now from a sports perspective, for my Atlanta teams and for the Hawks. I'm just, I'm... I said this when I was over a bad dog stream just for a few minutes last night, late, and everything. And then I stopped by a camel toe stream just to say hello to him last night. Um, hope you're doing well, my dude. First off, don't want to get the misconception because some people make it seem like I'm not grateful for the Hawk season. I am. You know, to come from 14 to 20, 14 to 20, and Lloyd Pierce and all that mess and blowing all these games and me ranting earlier about blowing all these games and to getting all the negativity and everybody kept saying we were going to lose, you know, and we just kept proving everybody wrong. And to come two wins away from the NBA Finals, and there's a good chance that we will be without our star player, Trey Young, for the third straight game. Now, I don't know. He's, he's questionable. But all I know is that if he, because he's seemed to be pretty mobile the last, you know, the last three days or so. If he's able to walk around, run around, shoot and pass with very, very, I'm talking very little on comfort and just get some shots, I would do it because we need him. But I don't want him playing at the risk of hurting himself even worse. You know, that right there is first and foremost. Do I feel like the team with Lou Williams and Bogdanovich and Gallinari and Kevin Herter and uh, Clint Capella, John Collins can win you a ball game at home? Yes. I do. They proved it game four. I don't know what happened in game five to where they just totally flipped the switch off. They Again, they acted like uh, Milwaukee did in game four. Coming down here when Trey was out and Giannis is playing and they didn't have any heart. And then the Hawks just beat him up. But, I, I mean, I'm so disappointed at, at Game 5. I, I can't get that one out of my head, and I can't get Game 3 out of my head either. But it's coming down to where it's either win or stay home. Uh, it's going to be here at State Farm Arena tonight. I have seen many teams celebrate on my on the Braves' home field or, or the Hawks' home court, you know, or the Falcons' home field that it gets – it gets bothersome. And, the, and another thing about this series is that the Hawks have had a legitimate chance. Again, I don't go on the coulda, shoulda, woulda, because if the Hawks would have held on to game three, you don't know what could have happened the rest of the way. You don't know. It's easy to say that if they didn't blow game three and Trey didn't get hurt, that, you know, we would still be up three. We, we still would have won game four. You don't know. Or the Bucks would have won game five. You don't know. But I'm just disappointed that this season could come to a crashing halt tonight. And our star player hasn't even played since um, game four. Or since game three. And to me, that's unfair and that's depressing. You know, kind of like, you know, it was unfair that the Brooklyn Nets had to play without Kyrie Irving, albeit he was, he was a very important piece, but he wasn't their main player. Kevin Durant was. And then Giannis gets hurt. You know, Giannis gets hurt, and uh, it sucks. It sucks to not have your full ability on the court. I mean, we've been battling injuries all year, and uh, we lose this. I will make an excuse that Trey Young missed the final three games or so. I will. And if anybody looks at it as a cop-out, then you clearly are not watching. So... And I don't like using that. I would rather be beat straight up. I could handle it more if Trey Young was playing and we just got beat. But we were we were winning game three. He went hurt. We for a, for a few minutes afterwards, we extended the lead a little bit. But then it st we started to make bad decisions because Trey wasn't on the floor. Not saying that we're not capable of making good decisions with Trey off the floor, but just making bad decisions. And I believe Trey would have 
settled everything down because he has all year and in the playoffs and stuff. He settled us down when we needed it. And, you know, it's just a crying shame that this season could end because Trey Young, unfortunately, had bad karma, bad luck stepping on a referee's foot. I mean, how does that happen? Right? How does that happen? Only in Atlanta does that happen. That's what. You know, only in Atlanta does that happen. We're making a move, and then all of a sudden, our main player steps on the referee's foot. You know, so it's demoralizing. It hurts. It's painful, and it hurts to what could come. I'm hoping that the Hawks have a gut check tonight. I, you know, believe, whatever. I mean, the Atlanta teams have been rising up, too legit to quit, believe, brotherhood, and we're still waiting. And it seems like we every time we get something possible, we get slapped in the face. And it just sucks, man, because I know the Hawks are good enough to be in the NBA Finals. No discredit to the Milwaukee Bucks because they had to play without their main star, Giannis, and did a fabulous job. I give them all the credit in the world, Game 5. But I'm not a Bucks fan. I'm a Hawks fan. And I want my team to win. Um... So we'll see what the Hawks have tonight. The game is at 8.30. I think I said 7.30, but I did look, and it's TNT. It's at 8.30. I will be live streaming the game and praying that this is not the last Hawks game of the year for me. I would like it to go to the max. If we can get to game seven on Monday, maybe Trey Young will be back ready to play because Giannis, they're going to try to see if they can play him. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but they're going to try. But I want that opportunity. I don't want it to end in our home court. I don't want it to end with Trey Young on the bench. Um, to me, that's just unfair. It's like, will I ever see my teams win, win titles? You know, it's, it's excruciatingly painful and frustrating being an Atlanta fan. But I am very proud of this Hawks team this year. And if I sound defeated, it's because it could be. I mean, what do you expect if our main guy is not playing? And, um... It's unfortunate, um, but I'm, I'm going to be ready tonight. I'm going to be nervous like always, like I always am. I already got everything decked out, set at the house, ready to go. And uh, just pray to God that uh, they, they give us one more game. And then we get Trey Young back. Hopefully Trey Young plays tonight, even at 80%, 70%, As long as it's not going to affect him and his health, he needs to be here. You know, but it's, it's a shame, but uh, I don't know. Subscribe to the channel, share it to your media outlets, click the bell so you know when the content uploads, and uh, subscribe to the channel, I think I said. Sports Live in the ATL. I'll see you in the next one.